Hi, welcome back. We have so many events to talk about. Let's just kick, kick off the Lucille's Rock and Roll Revival. And I went out to the Washington County Playhouse and um, was able to see them in action. The great thing about this, I love 50s and 60s music. I was a geek in high school and I did this whole like Buddy Holly thing that I'd like had to listen to all this like 50s and 60s music. So this was fun to me. Um, it's Lucille. We know her from so many events at uh, the Washington County Playhouse. She's a recurring character. Yes. Yeah. They will not reveal the name of the actual actress. Mm. I have tried. But anyway, so she basically is reliving her teen years through the 50s and 60s uh, through music. Um, and they're, they're encouraging people to come dress in 50s gear and, uh, and 60s attire if you want to. Um, there's a lot of great numbers. Um, a lot of, there's gonna be an Elvis medley. There's gonna be a Beatles medley. We have a little video here, uh, a shot of uh, them doing a little snippet of a dance number. Just take those old records off the shelf. I sit and listen to them by myself. It was so much fun to go out and see them. The wonderful thing, too, this is the very first time they've ever had a live band. So they're going to have a live band doing great music in the golden era of rock and roll. Right. Um, and have these great um, choreac perform choreac performances. Um, the thing I love, too, is that they're going to do an acapella version of Sat um, uh, Satisfaction. Okay. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and, uh, and anybody who loves the Lucille character will be uh, have fun to, to see her out there. One of the people, Claudia, um, she plays one of the um, waitresses there. And she was saying, you know, that was her era, the 60s. So she, she's having fun doing that. Let's get the affirmation on screen. That's Lucille's Rock and Roll Revival at 6 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays through Saturday, March 1st. There's also a performance 1 p.m. Sunday, March 2nd. That's at the Washington County Playhouse. Uh, take the rear entrance off the 44 North Potomac Street in downtown Hagerstown. Tickets cost $31 to $42. Now remember that is a dinner theater, right. so that's why the prices are that. Children four and younger are not recommended. Um, they probably couldn't set that long. Uh, there, go to the, for the phone number. There's a website for more information. Well, this is another uh, great event, the, the fashion show um, at Hagerstown Community College. The, the Black Student Union does this. They've been doing this annually now. This is the fourth year. And they have uh, students who are the, the models. They'll you know, walk along a catwalk showing uh, fashions from local stores. And, uh, and it's a variety of stuff, you know, uh, career and casual and sports and, and all of that. And of course, local musicians will, will be performing. So it's a nice little event to see, to see students performing, uh, students you know, mm -hmm. in, in the roles, and also to see what's coming up uh, the next season. So. Well, there, there's nothing more uh, fun with college students. It's fashion. They have to. Kids are a lot more fashionable nowadays. When I went to college, it was like sweatpants and like, you know, <laughs> on the dorm. Well, let's get uh, more information up there on screen. That's the fashion show. That's 7 p.m. Saturday, HCC's Kepler Center off of Robinwood Drive, uh, east of Hagerstown. It's seven bucks or $5 if you're an HCC student. Call Monica at that phone number or email her at that website. Well, this is a great event, the River and or River Rat Day. You have a local connection. Yes, my mom is a River Rat. Oh, there you proud, go. Proud, and, and uh, so she grew up um, in Pinesburg, which is right in, in the Weemsport area. So she graduated we uh, Weemsport High School. And you can tell I'm a, uh, uh, you know, a native because I do not see Williamsport. I see Weemsport. I gotcha. Okay, so the great thing that cracks me up about this is the fact that um, is you want to see if the river rat will see his shadow. And yes, people that actually do use a, a rodent. An actual rat, yeah, I, I saw that. This is what, this is the second year that they're Yes, the second year they're gonna do it. Um, if he's smart, he'll probably stay down in there because <laughs> it's probably too cold to come out. But this is a we'll great see. event um, to celebrate um, people who lived um, near the river. They're called river rats because of the Potomac River right there. Um, so I thought it was neat that they're doing it, of course, the day before the big, the big, uh, you know, rodent meteorological day when uh, what is it? Punk Punxsutawney Pete yes. checks to see his shadow. You know, Williamsport gets the step ahead. Well, here's my concern too. It's a, it's a rodent, it's a rat, or I don't think it's a rat per se. I think it's like a mouse or something. But um, they live, they're on the river, which is really known for like birds of prey. <laughs> I'm wondering if if someone's protecting Fingers the crossed. river rat. The river rat survives. I just had that, you know, in the proposal where the, the uh, eagle comes down and snatches up the, the dog. That I just have that fear for the poor river rat. 
Hope things go well. Well, they're encouraging you to wear a river rat attire. They have a bunch of t-shirts and stuff, um, or you can dress up, I guess, as a rat. It's up to you. But uh, let's get that information up on screen. That's the annual River Rat Day. That's 11 a.m. on Saturday. It starts at the Williamsport Town Hall. That's Conica Jake Street in Williamsport. Um, it's free, so uh, there's a phone number and email for more information. Winter Jam. Now, the Evolution School uh, of Rock has done a lot of good things for kids in the area, mm -hmm. they, and adults too, right. um, which I think is wonderful. You know, you think of uh, people who want to go and practice to become a rock star, and you think of it as being teens, young people. But they, you know, a lot of adults harbor that, right. <laughs> that desire to pick up a guitar or some instrument, drums, and really, you know, learn, learn the chops. So this is a chance when folks who have been studying, who have been practicing, will be able to perform uh, because band, you know, students form in bands because that's how, how you learn. You don't just practice your instrument, right. you learn how to be a part of a band. Well, the thing is, too, there's 13 bands at this event. And it is an all-ages event, even though it's a Cancun Cantina. They said that all ages are allowed to go. Um, and I like the fact that it's like all with Pearl Jam, Led Zeppelin, Goo Goo Dolls, you name it, they, they have it. But it's going to be a great event um, inside, so you can enjoy the warm weather inside. Right, right, right. You don't right, have to right. worry about freezing. Um, so let's get that information up on the screen. That's the Winter Jam, noon Saturday, Cancun Cantina West. Snow date is uh, Saturday, February 8th. The 750, free for ages four and younger. There's a phone number, uh, email, and website to, to for more information. So it's Valentine's Day is, all, is around the corner. Just around the corner. So they're having a special dinner show at Antietam Rack, which I think is, you know, and right, it's and, Elvis themed. And again, this is a, their, one of their annual events. They have, you know, uh, they always have, well, they've had this for like three, four, five years now. One of the, their season long performances that they do. Again, dinner theater. So you come, you have a dinner, and then you enjoy the variety show. They'll have dancing and singing. And Elvis, of course, is one of the, one of the featured acts. Well, we have a little snippet here of uh, some of the show. Well, this thing called love, I just it looks, little, it looks like a lot of fun. I heard that the um, food is really fabulous out there, too. Um, well, let's get that information up on screen. That's a Valentine's special dinner show. It's 6 to 9.15 Fridays and Saturdays through Saturday, February 22nd at Antietam Rec um, on Garrett's Shop Road. Tickets 22.75 to 33.75. Phone number and email for more information. As always, we have uh, a lot of things going on. Uh, be sure to ca check our calendar. Chris has a hard job at uh, making sure we have the top fives. That's Saturday, I'm sorry, Sunday through Friday we have those. And uh, so check that out. 